Hi guys, this is Doug from The Solution. And today I'm gonna to show you a variation of a hip car as we slowly transition into the potentially hardest position without too many blocks, and that would be the standing position. This one specifically is in half nailing. So for this setup, you're going to potentially have something underneath your knee if there's too much pressure. I don't mind if you're plantar flexed or dorsiflexed, again, whichever one's easier on the knee. I think it's really important as you get into standing or towards standing, you have a block here. So I'm gonna use the stall bars so I can fight the rotation at the pelvis because I wanna imagine there's a, at my belly button, there's almost a laser pointer and I'm directly facing the wall here. Now the goal, like every other car, is to really focus on creating more space to control in the joint being used. So for here, being the hip, I wanna minimize hip, knee, shoulder, upper body movement. And I'm looking to create flexion, extension, internal rotation, external rotation, as well as abduction and adduction at the hip joint. So that's six movements. So to begin with, I get the tension at the stall bar and my hands here and at my glutes. And I'm gonna begin with flexion. Again, I did a round at the low back. Then I got internal rotation and abduction. No shifting laterally. Now I got extension, still maxing out IR, and now I'm going into adduction. I will sometimes point my toe here. I'm getting a little bit of cramping at the back of the hamstring. Now that's gonna happen with gravity. And then I'm gonna return back into flexion and then go back into extension, external rotation and abduction together here, coming into flexion and I'm gonna meet with my big toe across the body. Now it's very important that again, as this becomes more difficult and gravity plays more of a role, you can potentially hit more cramping. And as I said earlier, the goal here is to create more space or control than the joint being used.